If you want to master something, teach it. These are the words of the greatest explainer of physics, Richard Feynman. In 1999, when a poll was conducted by the physics world, Feynman made it to the top 10 highest regarded physicists, thus sharing acclaim with the most brilliant minds ever. The three volumes of the Feynman Lectures of Physics are one of the most informative texts on physics. But what is it that makes Feynman such a role model for most of us? What is it about this man that enthralls the masses? Let's find out. Born in 1918 in the New York City, Feynman was a late talker. But who knew that this late talker would one day be known for talking science all over the globe? Even as a child, he had a zest to innovate. When he was in grade school, he created a home burglar alarm system while his parents were out for some daily errands. When Feynman turned 15, he taught himself trigonometry, advanced algebra, infinite series, analytical geometry, and calculus. Even before entering college, he was already experimenting with some advanced mathematical topics using his own notations. Today, we all know Feynman as a theoretical physicist. But did he always wanted to pursue this? How did his boat turn towards physics? Well, there is an interesting story behind this. Richard Feynman originally majored in mathematics. But later, he considered mathematics to be too abstract. So, he decided to shift to electrical engineering and did so. But soon, he found that he has gone too far, so he switched to physics, which he claimed was somewhere in between. And this is how he set himself on the journey to becoming one of the best theoretical physicists in this world. Feynman is a living example of, it's never too late to follow what your heart says. Throughout his lifetime, Feynman made some brilliant contributions to the scientific community. During World War II, Feynman played a major role in the Manhattan Project. He developed a formula to calculate the yield of a fission bomb. However, Feynman's best gift to the physics community remains his Feynman diagrams. These are the diagrams that are used to understand the interactions of the particles at the quantum level. The diagrams were originally developed by Feynman for his rough work. But today, they are the backbone of particle physics. If something has made particle physics elegant and easy to understand, it is these diagrams. Apart from this, Feynman also worked extensively on the superfluidity of the supercooled liquid helium. But the bucket of Feynman's genius is not empty yet. Little do people know, but Feynman was also one of the first scientists to perceive the possibility of quantum computers. Apart from his research-based contributions, Feynman was also an amazing popularizer of science. He always opposed rote learning. He simply believed in two things, clear thinking and clear presentation. So, to make learning fun, he came up with his unique methods of learning. The Feynman technique is a method of learning that helps you understand deeply, learn faster and apply what you have learned. He was also a great artist, and one of his hobbies included breaking safes. The greatest quality of a teacher is the ability to influence a student to think not what they think, but to think as they think. And Feynman's teaching methodologies exactly do that. Even Bill Gates agrees on this. Feynman was always intuitive to delve deeper into the details. And this passion to get to the root cause of the Challenger disaster also once brought him into a conflict with Washington officials. Still, as intuitive and as sturdy he was, he never stepped back. There has been one and only one Richard Feynman till date, and clearly, his take on life, his intuitiveness, and his fine genius traits can teach a lot to all of us.